Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have, in order to be totally transparent, a not practical like haul to show you. I hesitate to use the word haul because it's not that big, but it does violate some of the like no buy low buy rules that I had for myself. And I just thought it would be a good exercise in just talking through it, why it happened, how it happened, like all of that jazz. Um, I have some face masks. I've got some candles. I have some like kind of randomy products and then I also have some mascaras. So let's go ahead and talk about the candles. I have three DW Home candles. It has been a super long time. I sincerely can't recall when I last bought any DW Home candles. I was on like a real kick for a while and then frankly I just sort of stopped shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Not, not for any like real targeted purpose. I just haven't had a need to go shopping at those stores. But recently with Ben and I going to Italy on the 22nd of this month, I've discovered that I don't really own a lot of things besides like t-shirts and Nike shorts because that's a lot of what I wear in the summer for the most part because I'm not going to school. I'm just like hanging out by myself, but now I'll have Luna. So like I've needed to actually buy like cute summer clothes. So while I've been at those stores, I've always perused the candle aisle and I came across three DW candles that I'm really into. The first two I actually had heard some buzz about in a couple of groups on Facebook that I'm in for like candles and wax. And I was a little hesitant because I don't typically like the single wicks, but I feel like either in my bedroom or in our bathroom, these could be good scents or they could be strong enough or I can always pair them really easily with some kind of wax melt. So the first one that I got is ice cream sandwich. This smells a lot like basically a hot cocoa and cream candle, which honestly I'm a big fan of. I really like chocolate scents and I just like to have this type of scent around. And I was, and I've only ever experienced it with Bath and Body Works, so I am curious to see how DW Home performs. I would have preferred to get a two or a three wick because in my experience, those are the best performing DW candles, but they didn't have any of those, so I ended up going with this one. Um, I will say, I feel like these candles have definitely increased in price at TJ Maxx. This thing was $7, um, which, which isn't like terrible, but it still feels hefty for this type of candle. I also found root beer. This smells exactly like the root beer candies I used to love as a kid. This one was also $6.99. I do still have my root beer candle from Bath & Body Works from last year that I haven't burned. I just never got around to it last summer. I have heard that's not like a great burning candle, so I may burn both of these at the same time to sort of scent compare, but also see if I can get a better scent through. But I'm really excited to try this one as well. Again, if I could have gotten these in three wicks or if I come across them in three wicks, I wouldn't be opposed to returning these if I haven't burned them yet. The other one that I have is this one it's a three wick this is the orange poppy I have not smelled this one before and I really like it it's really more of a poppy note than anything else I wonder if the orange will come through more when I actually burn it but to give you a, a price comparison this was $7.99 like the three wick one was so to have the single wicks be just a dollar less than that seems kind of foolish but I was really excited about this I like the orangey packaging I'm hoping that the light will be able to come through on it and I'm just hoping for a good overall burn like I said it's been a really long time since I have purchased EW home candles so I'm really hopeful that these ones are as good as the other ones I've burned in the past the last candle I got is actually from Bath and Body Works I didn't feel like doing a whole separate video but I did end up when candles went on 1050 I ended up going to my local Bath and Body Works store in in Braintree and I came across the Rome Pizzeria Bath and Body Works candle. I heard Tina D. Valicious talk about this and he talked about how way back, I remember him talking about this way back when it first came out and how terrible it was as a candle, but then he was talking about how he, you know, liked it and was happy to pick it up. And so when I saw that my store had four or five of them, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and smell it. And I've got to be honest, I don't know how I feel about the smell. To me, what resonates the most on cold are the like herbs and spices that you would use in like a pizza crust or a marinara, but like the marinara doesn't come through as much. 
I don't know if I love it, but I figured for $10.50 with all this like hype around this candle, I would just go ahead and like give it a whirl and if it burns terribly, I will return it. The one thing I was a little hairy with though about buying is when I got to the counter, this, as you can see, there is no bottom label, there is no barcode. And when the sales associate first saw it, she was like, oh, let me go grab another one. And she scanned that one and then gave me this one. And I was shocked she was selling it to me. I mean, there's nothing technically wrong with it. My only question that I explicitly asked her, I said, well, if this candle doesn't burn properly and I have to return it, am I gonna have an issue returning it because there's no bottom sticker on it? And she was like, oh no, you don't just have your receipt with you. And I was like, yeah, but if I don't have my receipt with me, cause I don't keep receipts, like the way I burn candles, it might take me six months. I'm not gonna hoard receipts for six months. I was like, oh, but if I don't have my receipt and the sales associate next to her was like, it doesn't matter, it's hundred percent guarantee. It's got the Bath and Body Works logo on it. Like it'll be fine. You just go ahead and get it. So I was like, all right, well, I've got a weird quirky candle. It has a weird smell, like it all kind of fits. So I'll be curious to see if and when I burn this, if I still like it. If I don't like the scent, but it still burns well, I probably will just keep it. But if it doesn't perform well, you guys are the drill, I will definitely return this candle. But I'm curious if you've smelled this, if you liked it, if you bought it, like I'm real curious about it. If nothing else, the packaging on this collection is gorgeous. I love this packaging. Okay, now let's talk sheet masks. As you guys know, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos, I'm a really big fan of Face Tori in general. I went through a love affair with them when their boxes first started to become a thing, and then I cut myself off quickly because I had a huge amassing of sheet masks. I still have a huge amassing of sheet masks. And I've watched their videos on YouTube, and I really can't tell you enough that I find their videos super informative. They're normally very short, but packed with a lot of really important content and I've learned a lot from them. So on one of their videos, they were actually doing a giveaway and your girl won, which dangerous, awesome, all wrapped up in one. So they actually sent me some sheet masks. I was on to show those to you guys. Um, I actually just sat down and reorganized all of my sheet masks now that I have a better understanding of how to use some of them. So if you guys want to see, it wouldn't be anytime soon, but if you want to see like a sheet mask collection video, I've, seen, I've shown you guys a lot of my hoarding closet, but never my actual tubs or sheet masks. If you actually want to see that, fair warning, it'll be a long video, but I'm happy to do so. But anyways, they sent me four sheet masks and a cute little note which it's so nice it's just I really I really am enjoying them and if I could resubscribe to one mystery box it would definitely be face Tory because I just really like them as a company but if you're interested they did also mention there's this code, it's called giveaway 15, which gets you 15% off the Lux Plus, I believe. But that's just like a little bonus if you would like it but these are the sheet masks that i got there's the save our skin super skin power restoring mask with royal jelly it looks like they actually have come out with their own like line of sheet masks since i first subscribed to them and it has all their cute little like picture grams on there i like i said really like this company i also got the step one hydrating ampule with the step two hydrating mask whoa that h2o got the let's talk detox purifying pore mask with charcoal and volcanic ash and the last one is the ace that face collagen mask so super happy to have gotten this and to have one and i would definitely recommend checking face story out because they're just awesome okay so now let's dive into the land of mascaras because i've bought some so what triggered this is two things one, I like used up a few mascaras, including a lash primer, and I actually had a necessity to go out and buy a new lash primer. But I actually got super curious about mascaras slash got really excited one day at CVS because I had coupons and I noticed that my local CVS is now stocking Essence Beauty, which I was like, ooh, let me look at Essence Beauty. I have always heard really good things about Essence mascaras, but I've never, for whatever reason, when I've gone to buy one, I've never actually gone to buy an Essence one. I think it's because when I go to buy mascara, I typically go drugstore, I typically go CVS because I have a lot of coupons, and up until this point, there was no Essence. So the first two I got, because I didn't see Essence at that point, was this Lash Paradise L'Oreal Duo. They still had 
like Christmas duos. I don't know if they just didn't sell or where they were, but they were on super clearance. Plus I was able to use coupons. So I got these for free. I got the primer, which you guys know I love. And I got the regular mascara, which is fine. I have not opened this because I have a couple of other older mascaras I'm trying to use up first. But then when Essence came into town, I couldn't help myself. I ended up finding that Essence, I think this is relatively new, they have their own lash primer. It's a volume booster and it's got uh, a Kai oil and mango butter. Not sure the pros of that or the necessity of that, but I was definitely intrigued because it is cheaper than the L'Oreal. I think this is like four dollars maybe. And again, like I said, I had coupons, so it was cheaper than that. And then I came across the Lash Princess Mascara. And I have heard Andrea Matigliano, another person I love to watch on YouTube, watched her for a very long time. She has raved about this, ranted and raved about how great this is. So I decided to pick this up. I also, I'm not going to lie, I really love the rubber texture on this. I don't know why, but it just feels like I can do more with the mascara, like I have more precision or like I can just do more with it. I, I'm obsessed with that. It's just like a weird thing that I really like, but whatever. So I ended up picking both of these up. And at first I immediately regretted this one. It was super wet. It like was messy. It got everywhere. Like it was not a quality mascara. And I was like, oh, this is the makeup karma for breaking the mascara rule I set for myself, I already bought the L'Oreal mascara when I just needed to get the primer and now I bought this extra one. But then I let it sit and sit and then it got a little drier and now it is magical. I also think this is decent, not as good as the L'Oreal one, but it's pretty decent too. So I'm happy, but then it gets worse. And this is like the danger I, I have found. I've been doing really well on the low buy, no buy because I've actually seen a lot of payoff and not getting new products. I've been working on things, focusing on what I have, discovering things in my collection that I didn't know I liked but really do like or things that I'm like, this has got to go. It feels good to get it out of my life. But once I allowed myself to break the low buy, no buy rules, it was like floodgates. Like I started looking at Ulta and Sephora and just like spending time browsing on those sites and I haven't really done a lot of that. I don't, prior to January, I wasn't doing it a ton, but I would find myself like maybe every couple of weeks, like just aimlessly scrolling through on my apps for, you know, new things at Ulta and Sephora or looking at the clearance section of Sephora. And I've not really done that this year, but I started to do that. And then I came across this deal for Positions Formula and I knew that couponing at CVS could be dicey for me. Like it could be something that I would miss. I've been able to coupon in other ways at CVS. So it's kind of filled the like makeup void because I still coupon for other things. But I got this for free and I don't need it. Yes, it's still in its packaging. I could donate it, but I, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't want to, if I'm being honest, I want to use it. It's the Lash Mixologist. It's got two sides. It has a lengthening side and a volume side. And I would just be curious to know if this would be similar to the effect I get using a primer and a regular mascara. So I'm officially stocked on mascaras. Not to mention, I do still have two other ones that I've had open that I've been working on. So I'm a little upset with myself. I definitely need to reel it back in and not get any more mascaras until these are used up, but it happened. It's been one of my few like makeup issues that I've had. Um, so I feel, I feel okay with it, I suppose. I feel all right with it, it is what it is, but I just want to be transparent about it because I've been doing really well but I fell off the wagon a little in the mascara category. Okay, now let's talk about Ulta. This might be like one of the weirdest Ulta purchases I have ever made. Um, how it happened was it's been getting warmer here in the New England area and I have felt my, this is gonna sound super gross, I have felt my thighs rubbing together and I like hate 
that feeling. It happens when I'm wearing dresses at school. It will happen like when I wear shorts and I don't have like super big thighs, but they just naturally hit each other. And so I happen to see in a fitness group that I'm in a girl talking about like anti-chafing thigh stuff. And someone mentioned this stick product. And I was like, Ooh, I feel like I'm going to want that because I've heard Italy is super warm. So I went on to Ulta and I found what it was. It's called the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue Anti-Friction Stick. It looks just like a deodorant stick, but the instructions say that you should swipe on inner thighs or wherever you chafe for a smooth, frictionless glide, free of aluminum and parabens made with soothing aloe and vitamin E, reapply as needed. I don't experience chafing when my thighs touch. I just don't like the feeling of it. I just don't like it. So I'm hoping that this is the cure-all, but initially I wasn't going to buy it because I was like, well, there's nothing else that you need. You're not, I hate paying for shipping and I didn't want to like get just this and pay what I think it's like $5 for Ulta shipping. So I like just left it in my cart and then my ads on Instagram changed. And then there was an advertisement for the most ridiculous but intriguing product of my life. It is from Body. Your butt deserves attention too. This is a sheet mask, I joke not, for your butt, for your butt. And I saw that and I was like, wait a second, is that what I think it is? And I clicked on it, oh it is. It is 100% what they advertise it to be. Literally, what you're supposed to do is you're going to apply to clean skin as shown, keep the mask on for 10 to 15 minutes and take the mask off, put bikini on or take a perfect butt fee. Those are 100% what the instructions say on here. This is to firm and illuminate. Please note, it has two sheets, one for each of your cheeks. I saw this and I was like, done. Have to, I, I have to do it. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It will not do either one of those claims, but like I just need to try this. And so I ordered it. This is not cheap. This thing is like eight or nine dollars. Also ridiculous. But I just thought, wouldn't this be funny? Like, wouldn't this just be funny? I'm obviously not going to do a whole video on it in the sense that like I'm not going to show you my butt and, and me using it, but I just think it'd be funny to talk about. Like, can, can you guys believe this is where we're at? Like a whole company literally focused on butt sheet masks. Like that's what they have built their platform on and Ulta is selling them. And there are different varieties. Like I looked at all the choices and figured like this would be the best one for my butt's needs. Like I just, I just can't, I just can't. So stay tuned when I'm probably back from Italy, I will use this. I will tell you all about this because it's, it is ridiculous. And so I was like, yep, gotta get both of these. This is getting to be weird. And then I got a lip product. It's bizarre. Let me tell you, I have wanted a Fenty gloss since they came out, but I've told myself I don't need any glosses and I don't need to spend that much money on a gloss. And then Emily Noel came out with a dupes video and she mentioned that Milani had a dupe for the Fenty gloss. And I love this gloss. Like I already love this formula. I talked about it, I think last summer I discovered it. And so she mentioned that this rosy bronze is an exact dupe. And so I had to pick it up. They only sell it, I checked all my local CVSs that have this. I've only ever found it on Ulta online only. And this is what it looks like. So again, didn't need lip products, but I don't have anything like this. And if it does quell my desire for a gloss that's I think at least double the price of this one, I think that's worth it. That's a fine breaking of the low buy, no buy. But this, this made the whole old purchase worth it. So I am just, just stay tuned for this one, guys. All right, that is it for me and this non-practical haul. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.